Hi everyone, my name is Pun, and in today's video, we are headed to the Players, which is a PGA golf tournament. And this is my second PGA tournament that I've been to, the first one being the FedEx Cup Championship. So I kind of know what to expect. It's usually pretty chill, low-key, because there are two ways to do it. You could either follow the group, that's playing and go to all the different holes or you can just pick a hole to just camp out for a little bit and usually it's more chill that way because me being a short gal I have a hard time fighting the crowds okay it's hard for me to see over people to see what's going on so usually we'll just pick a spot to watch from so if you are interested in coming along keep watching and see how much i can realistically read while attending a golf tournament so come on welcome to day one which was also the day that we drove down to the tournament but first things first i had to try their signature drink the sawgrass splash which i don't know if it was the way the bartender made it it just tasted like lime juice. I've never been to a golf course like this before where there's a huge lawn where people can just lounge and watch golf and this is at their signature island green on the 17th hole which was super pretty. And that's day one done. I had a chill time there. And then we tried this new restaurant in Jacksonville. The drinks were really good. The food was all right. So this was a travel day. So I read a whopping zero pages. <laughs> Welcome to day two. We decided to take the shuttles today because as you can see, parking is ridiculous. Anyways, I had a little bit of downtime waiting for the shuttles. So take your guesses on how many pages I was able to read today. Cheers to day two. For day two, I read, are you ready for it? 15 pages, which 
I think it's pretty good. Good morning, we're starting the morning off with a coffee and a breakfast sandwich before heading in to watch more golf. food spots all over the course but I decided to try this one today and this one was always busy. Let's recap day three. I read three pages. Very fitting. We're not going to talk about Sunday's parking because that was atrocious. Let's enjoy this last day and this nice weather.
Well, where do we begin? Why don't we start with today? And did you have a number in mind that you had to get to to feel like you had a realistic chance? I, I didn't necessarily have a number in mind, but I knew I needed to get off to a good start. And um, mostly I was thinking about the front nine, just trying to get off to a good start and kind of put myself in position. Um, and knowing that, you know, posting a score can be difficult to deal with out on this golf course. And um, yeah, we just tried to do our best out there today and we, we had a really nice round. Hole out on four, were you watching boards? Did you get a sense of what was going on behind you? Did it give you an idea how aggressive you needed to be on the front? Yeah, I knew I needed to shoot probably at least four or five under on the front nine to have a chance, and you know I was fortunate to do that. And then going to the back nine, I just tried to continue to get give myself a lot of looks and hit some nice shots, um, had a lot of looks, you know, made a few of them, and um, here we are. So it's hard to win back to back on the PGA Tour. It's even harder when your neck is bothering you. At what point did you realize I can not only gut through this and finish, but I can contend as well? Well, Friday I'd say it was a pretty tough day, um, but. Outside of that, when I woke up Saturday morning, when you, when you get acute injuries like that, if you can wake up the next day feeling the same or a touch better, that's a really good sign. I woke up Saturday morning feeling a touch better than I did on Friday. Um, got it out a nice round on Saturday, and then when I woke up this morning, I felt pretty good. Still a little bit of pain, but I was able to you know make some normal swings and um, you know, just kind of battle out there. Springtime is your time of year from WM Phoenix a couple of years ago to now. That's eight wins in 26 months. What has been the most important thing? Absolutely. Oh, now, what's been the most important thing about being able to not only make the climb but to stay on top of the world? Yeah, I'm just I'm just thankful mostly. You know, it's been it's been a fun ride the last couple of years, and uh, we've put in a lot of work to be in this position, and um, it's been a lot of fun. We've been getting a ton of support from the fans the last few months, and that's been been tremendous. And I'm just very thankful. Back to back in this championship, as the commissioner said, has the anniversary, the 50th of this event, to be the guy getting that trophy back to back years for the first time. Yeah, it's, it's very special. I don't really know how to put it into words. You know, my, my mind's still kind of in tournament mode. You know, it, it came down to the wire this week, and uh, I really don't know how to describe it, but it's, it's definitely a lot of fun standing up here with you guys this year. Uh, let's talk generations. Your grandma, who lives in the area, back again here. The Lucky Charm. What's it been like having her these last two years as you won the players back to back in her backyard? Yeah, thank you all for that round of applause for Grandma. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's, it's a special week. You know, we, we have great memories here in Jacksonville. My, my whole family is actually here this week. You know, Meredith is here, all three of my sisters, nephew, parents, um, the whole crew's here. So it was a special week. Um, you know, it's fun all getting to be together, and, um, yeah, we're going to celebrate a bit tonight. And let's talk a little bit about your wife, Meredith, who's got that million-dollar smile and family uh, getting ready to get going here, baby on the way soon. What's it been like to have her by your side for all these great moments and know the family's going to be growing here? Yeah, it's tremendous. We're, we're very excited to have a, you know, a little one of our own coming here pretty soon, and, um, yeah, that's – that's something I really don't know how to put into words. Um, but it'll be very special. You know, she's going to be a great mom, and um, you know we're excited to start this next journey as parents. We look forward to welcoming you to that great club of being a parent. And one of the great traditions of the players is whichever nation represents the champion of the players, that flag flies proudly out here when everyone goes to TPC Soccer. As going back up again, so they are raised. They're raised in name and honor of the champion. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 winner of the Players' Championship, Scotty Scheffler. <laughs> and we present it back to you on Golf Channel. This is where they film for TV, but let's recap. I only read one page today, but it was also a travel day. That's the video, and as you can see, I 
really didn't read that much. I just really chose to be present and in the moment. Except for that one day when we took the shuttle, there was a little bit of downtime while waiting for the shuttle and all that. So I read a little bit more, just a little bit more that day. But honestly, if I wanted to, I definitely could have read more. I could have listened to an audiobook or something like that. But I just, I just wanted to be very, very in the moment. I could have read more at night, but honestly, after a full day out in the sun and walking a lot and then going out for dinner, and then finally settling down for the night, I just knocked out. I was tired, so that was the day. Wake up, attend the golf, go eat, sleep, repeat. So definitely could have read a lot more. I mean, I had some chill down time, like we just sitting there, just waiting for the next, the next player to come up or whatever, but it's meditative in a way just to sit there in the calm and just enjoy the your environment. And that is what I did. So this was very, very real. So don't be mad that I didn't get to read that much. Hopefully I'm going on a beach trip soon. Laying on a beach, reading a book is, you could definitely get through a lot of pages then. I will attempt this again on another trip. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.